wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in me, me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be alright. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. <laughs> I don't know about you, but not my favorite thing to do, but it always feels amazing when it's done. So let's go and get it done. So I wanna see it all. Find the northern lights, see the stars in the open wild. Catch a glimpse of Panama. We don't need a map. I'll let you know when we've arrived, yeah. I'm about to walk into my appointment for my O ceremony. I'm super excited. Got my my uh, little jacket on and uh, ready to go. Almost there. I just walked Rocky and uh, he got soaking wet so I'm gonna put a towel down on the seat so he doesn't get the leather seat so wet and dirty since I just spent eight hours washing this car. Today um, actually is Rocky's big day. He has a surgery, so I'm gonna go ahead and take him to the uh, uh, vet this morning. Um, they told me to drop him off between 8 and 8.30, so oh, I hope everything goes well. And uh, I was trying to avoid doing the surgery, um, just as a quick recap. Um, he's got a little, kind of like a, I don't know, like a wart or skin tag, like older dogs get on their skin, but it's right on his eyelid. And uh, now it's gotten so big that it's pushing on his eyeball. And I, the reason why I didn't really want to do it is because I thought, well, sedating him at 14, you know, might not be such a great idea. But at this point, we don't really have a choice because it's pushing onto his eye. And I, I can't imagine that that's comfortable. So we're going to give him lots of lugs and kisses and hugs. So I got to put that in the directions. Well, there we go. All right. Are you ready to go, Rocky? We are ready to go. That way you can come home and eat your breakfast because he loves food and uh, he wasn't able to eat since yesterday, so last night. All right, guys. Underneath this mattress here, we have a four inch pillow topper that we put on top. And when you raise this up, there's actually two struts and those struts are what support all the weight. The problem is where those struts attach to, one of them has just completely ripped out of the wood and baseboards and we're gonna have to fix that. So we've been pushing this off for a while and it's just gonna be a little bit cumbersome trying to get this, everything pulled off of this, lifted up, everything underneath pulled out, just so we can gain access to the area. But that's why we pushed it off. So let's get started. So apparently, there's construction 
and the way the that Google wants me to go there's only one way street and the other one is closed so now I'm basically trying to figure out how to get to the road that I'm supposed to get on so I'm gonna try to find my way to it <laughs> a different way than the way it's showing me so wish me like i'm really bad geographically challenged so um if lee was here right now he'd be laughing like yeah I told you you need to learn how to read a map but yeah so hopefully i can figure it out on my own if i can i'll be really proud of myself i don't know uh how you are i, I mean and i should be really good at you know reading maps and everything since we do live in an RV full time but you know that's what I have Google for or all the other apps that we use and uh, of course Lee so but what to do when I'm by myself I better start learning because uh, can't be getting lost my family needs me right and Rogan needs a surgery so we gotta make it there to the vet on time um, but I think we are actually heading the right way now so is. Oh no, there's more construction. Okay, we'll see. All right, guys. So we've just gained access to underneath the bed, removing everything. It was it's a pain. I hope none of you guys actually have to do this. But now that we've gained access to it, you can see the damage already. This right here, this bracket was mounted to this structure here, but it's just not that sturdy. So. Uh, with all the weight that we have on top with that four inch pillow topper the bedspread and all that getting in and out of this area it was just going to fail so it did all the screws ripped out so the goal here is to reinforce this section so i'm going to take some wood strips and i'm going to put some wood here and make it secure that way this bracket here has something to grip onto and that's really it's that simple so put the wooden strip here push this back on. I'm going to do the same to the other side and that's it. So let's head outside and start cutting some wood. That is all real close to tourist traffic. <sighs> that is unfortunate. And this is only one way. If you guys don't have one of these handy little things, grab one. They're about three bucks, or even like sometimes a dollar fifty at Harbor Freight. Grab two of these. These are invaluable just to hold stuff in place. Just the right thickness. Done. So I went around the circle for a couple of times until I realized, oh, I just need to make a U-turn to get to the other side of the highway. Right, I guess what we do is just drive around this circle here. It should be the second left exit. There's the hotel. Hey, look, kids. There's Big Ben and there's Parliament. There it is, there it is, there it is. I know. I can't seem to get over to the left, honey. I'll try next time. <laughs> Sorry. It says we're going to be there in five minutes, so we'll be... We have five minutes to spare by the time we get there. So that's always something exciting. You don't really expect that uh, in the morning. But yeah, the whole downtown area on Mountain Home is like shut down with construction. And you're like, well, if you don't know your way around very well, <laughs> you're like, which way do I go? <laughs> and Google just... It's not that updated. I don't think the local officials here let them know either way. And the road is so tight with construction. I've got the dually and I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm hitting curbs here and there. Lee's gonna hate me for that. But um, nothing I can do. Um, I don't know how these 18 wheelers are making it through, but um, somebody had already uh, hit a cone. I uh, wished I could show you, but right now I gotta try to not hit one myself. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so I think we finally made it around the construction and uh, we're ready to go and we'll be there in four minutes
So now I got to make sure that I find my way home the right same way I did my way here without going in circles 20 minutes. So uh, I'm going to have to look at the map myself. Are excited because we're gonna go pick up Rocky from the vet. All right, we finally got him back. He can see, and he seems sleepy. So let's take him home. Woohoo! Brand new Rocky with a regular eye. Look at that. He can see and everything. We have to give him eye drops for five or seven days. All right. That's awesome. We are so happy to He's see him. He's a good him. boy. Um, we do need to keep a tippet from licking his eyeball. And how <laughs> are we supposed to do that? <laughs> they lick each other everywhere. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we just have to keep an eye on him. And he's not allowed to rub his face in the couch and stuff. And also no baths. Oh yeah, oh, it looks so much better. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that thing is gone. Well, I know he's happier. Oh yeah, he can see now. Oh, now we just gotta give him a haircut. That's next on the list. Yep. But yeah, so that was his big day. So we got that, we got that um, over with. So the next big day is travel day for me to go back to Orlando for my citizenship. So that will be Sunday. Well, you're already wearing your shirt. I am. Yes, I'm being very patriotic already. It's my, well, how do you say a uh, patriotic week? It's your Jackson Hole uh, America elk. Yes, it is. Love it. Love that place. Love the elk. Love the flag. All right. My citizenship process was so confusing. Everything went great up until I had my interview. Everything was wonderful, except they weren't sure if I was eligible, which just completely shocked me. And, uh, and it's natural at that point to reach out to a lawyer or somebody that has um, a lot more experience with this process. So I was just so lucky that we have a family friend that works in immigration and uh, she was able to talk to her work, work colleagues, including a lawyer that work in her office and kind of explain my situation. And they were all giving me moral support. They all said, yes, you should be eligible. Don't worry about it. If you do get denied, let us know and we'll help you through it. So uh, take a look at this. Okay. Yeah, because why, but, so, did you tell them that he made me change the application to five years? Oh, I, you, I will, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> she says how. Um, so, she said, the lawyer said, just to wait what the notice says, and if they do deny it, then they are going to help me, like, right away, and then we have to, like, get the case rolling, because... Under the law, I'm eligible to get my citizenship. So I was right, and uh, the guy at the immigration was not. The biggest part of this process in immigration is communication, obviously. So usually I get all of my information receiving a letter. So surprise, surprise, I keep getting these missed phone calls from an Orlando phone number. And I was like, what is going on? So usually I don't know how you are, but I don't answer phone calls if I don't, and uh, phone numbers that I don't know. So uh, I, I listened to the voicemail, I was like, what do you mean it's the USCIS office in Orlando saying I missed my oath appointment, okay? Just remember at this point, I didn't even know if I was eligible to become a citizen. So I was like, what is going on? So I finally called them back. And uh, they're like, yeah, you missed your appointment. And you know, we just had a nice conversation. So take a look at this. Okay, wonderful. And then they'll just send me a letter or do I get another phone call? Okay. Okay, and I also have a, I also have a USCIS account. Um, do they, okay, so will they have like a copy of that letter in there? No. A notice. 
No, I know, I noticed that. Yeah, because I was watching every day. I was like, when is my letter coming? When is my letter coming? And uh, yeah, so it was a very short, like a short window. Yeah, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you so much for your help. Have a great day. Thank you, bye. All right, so they are now gonna schedule uh, my O ceremony. Uh, I missed it. So the certificate they printed for me, they have to destroy. But I never received a letter saying that I had my appointment, so I'm a little bit confused. But they called me back because I missed it. And now they're actually scheduling it for the time that we're gonna be in Orlando anyways, which is a huge plus. And I'm super excited because my family actually gets to be with me this time. So that's gonna be nice. So we're gonna do it in December. I don't have to fly by myself and do it all, so. So that totally didn't happen. I was so excited. We're scheduled for December for my O ceremony. I'm gonna have my family with me because we're gonna spend the winter there. It was great. Until four days later, I got a letter in the mail <laughs> from the online department. <laughs> saying that I have an O ceremony appointment like a week after that. I was like, what are you talking about? Now I have to go back from Boise to Orlando in August without my family again to go to my O ceremony. Don't get me wrong, I was super duper excited to get it, but it's just hilarious how they do not communicate whatsoever. So the worst part about this trip is having to get the girls up at 2 a.m. to head to the airport. So take a look. Another travel day. Going to Orlando for my O ceremony. Woohoo! And uh, the most important thing is coffee at 2 a.m. Yeah. Best thing ever. <laughs> what do you think, Rocky? He's like, you people are crazy. <laughs> now, now the hardest part of the trip is to get the kids in the car. At two o'clock in the morning. I know. Good that Emily's seat leans all the way back. But can you tell me what this is? I don't even have words for what that is. It's a little bell. That's perfect. We're going to put a little flower on there, hang something on it. I think that's perfect. Like a little tree limb. Well, you know what? Let's just enjoy the coffee while we can. Cheers. Apparently, both of you guys are ready to go, aren't you? No. Uh-oh. I hear stirring. Uh-oh. We, ha we have a little one. She has a... What do you call them? Unicorn mask. <laughs> a sleeping mask with a horn. Boop. Perfect. Really? <laughs> really? All right, pillow, blanket, and Nintendo Switch. I guess uh, she's ready to go. I guess it's time to go. We're here. I never thought I was going to see the Boise airport this soon again, <laughs> or ever. <laughs> yeah, you're you're actually a professional at making this route. Yeah, Our, Orlando really loves me. Yeah. It just wants me to keep coming back. We've got one out and one right there playing with her switch. Well, I love you guys. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Breakfast for champions. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I gotta have my phone and my water. Mwah. I just made it through a TSA security and apparently um, 
I made it before TSA came to work today. <laughs> so we had to wait in line for a minute, but I just went through, so I headed to my gate. I just made it to Orlando. Third time is a charm. I'm on my way to my oath ceremony. Yay! Finally outside the airport and waiting for my uh, ride. Uh, good friends to pick me up. So today is my big day. I can't wait. Um, my appointment is at 11. It's about um, 8 o'clock now. So we're going to head out in about 30 minutes uh, from the villages to uh, go to Orlando to the office. And uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. My heart is pounding. Um, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. Um, yesterday we had a great trip. Uh, we went to Crystal River and I went on a boat with a friend and I saw a little alligator. So that was fun. Um, great day. Uh, my, my last day spent as a German citizen. Right now I'm excited, um, uh, calm but excited um, because the experience is new and I'm just so proud and uh, uh, thankful to have this opportunity to become an American citizen. So yes, I am excited and ready to go. So I'm about to walk into my appointment for my O ceremony. I'm super excited. Got my my uh, little jacket on and uh, ready to go. Almost there. You look American. Don't I? I know. I am, I am. That's right. I'm finally here. Finally an American citizen. So thankful. It was a long process. Sometimes very emotional. Sometimes very confusing. But you have stuck with me the whole entire way. And I just wanted to sincerely thank you for being there, for sending me all these sweet and supportive messages. You have no idea how much that that meant to me. Um, especially when you feel alone at times, when you don't know what's going on. It was so amazing. I love this community. Love you, um, RVing. We're not gonna stop anytime soon. We love doing the journey. We love taking you on the journey. So let's keep on traveling. Let's discover this beautiful country that I'm not a, now a part of, yay. <laughs> and let's keep going. Thank you and you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.